So I want to take a moment and talk about the principle of inclusions. Mainly I want to talk about the differences between the picture on the left and the picture on the right. I think the principle of inclusions is relatively easy to understand. When you have a, a rock layer cut across another, like a dike or a sill or, as you see here in the left picture, a lava flow, it's going to incorporate bits and pieces of the rocks below it into it. And that's the principles of inclusion. So let's look at the picture on the left. Here we have rock layers, right? Older, one, two, and three. Here we see we have a lava flow, and then later we have this rock form on top. So basically what happened here is we had rock layers one, two, and three get deposited. Then we have a lava flow, all right, come in on top. And then later four got deposited. But before four got deposited, what we see is that we had maybe some rain beat down on this material or the wind whip across it. And the top part of this lava flow started to break up. So we've got rubble pieces sitting on top. So when that next layer got deposited, it includes some of those eroded pieces. This is how I can tell this is a lava flow. Now let's look at the picture here on the right. Here we have a sill. If you remember, a sill forms, so again here we have rocks one, two, three, and four. So let's talk about how this forms. So here I would have my four rocks. Right, one, two, three, and four. So these would get deposited, and then remember what a sill does is it comes and intrudes into, in between these layers. So unlike the lava flow that formed on the surface, the sill goes into, it injects itself in between those two layers. So when it injected itself in between those two layers, it's going to rip up bits and pieces of four and include it in, and bits and pieces of the top of three and include it in. So that's why we see these bits and pieces from four and these bits and pieces of three. So understanding the differences here between the picture on the left and the picture on the right can really kind of help you untangle the geologic history of certain specific areas.